Hey everybody, Matt from 360 Labs here. I wanted to tell you guys about Action Cam Importer, which is a new Windows utility that we made to help our workflow with 360 video. Uh, it takes cameras, multiple cameras, and copies the files automatically and sorts them into folders. And what we use for this is a couple pieces of hardware you're gonna have to get, and don't freak out, they're not that expensive. Um, you're gonna wanna get a USB hub. The one we have here is an Anchor 10 port USB 3.0 hub. And with that, we also use these Transcend USB 3.0 card readers. And these will accept a regular SD card or a micro SD card. They're very compact, so they can fit side by side into multiple USB slots. Um, and you can get them on Amazon for about five or six bucks. We've gone ahead and preloaded our media here. We've taken six cards from our Freedom 360 camera mount, and we've loaded them into the same card slots, one through six here in the same order. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the application. And the first thing that we're gonna do in the app is choose a destination folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new folder and click OK. And that's where it's gonna copy all of the video files and create the new folders per each shot. Optionally down here, I also have the ability to set a prefix. So I can type in my project underscore, for example. Every video file that comes off of the camera is gonna have this prefix. So if I, in case I copy it somewhere else later and I forget, at least I'll, I'll remember where it belongs later. You can also use this option to use FFmpeg to, continue, to combine file parts um, and it's a GoPro only option. So what this does is, if you're used to GoPro, you know that once you hit that four gigabyte file limit, GoPro starts creating a new file. It will create multiple parts and then you have to take those either into GoPro Studio or some other kind of software and recombine them if you want one large concurrent file. If you have installed FFmpeg on your computer and you have a Windows environment variable for it, this option will automatically concatenate those files for you at the time of copying. If you don't have FFmpeg installed, you can look at our help file by clicking the help button in the app or on our website, you can look for the help PDF. It'll give you some quick and easy steps on how to do that. It only takes about 10 minutes to install. And it's definitely a worthwhile utility to have. Beyond that, these two numbers down here are just offsets. And those allow you to basically set how Action Cam Importer will copy the files. You can tell it to start with a specific video file, for example, if you have 10 shots on your camera, but five of them you've already copied, you can select to start with shot six, and it will skip the first five videos on each card. Or for example, if you wanted to also have it start with the folder shot six, you can select six here as well. This is useful, for example, if you're on a multi-day production, you're dumping your cards every night, but maybe you don't wanna format your cards, you just wanna skip ahead. These options just give you a few ways for you to do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and put these back to one, which is the default, which will copy everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck use FFmpeg because I don't have any super long shots on here. Next thing you need to do, and the final thing you need to do, is just assign your drive letters to each camera. And we have as many as 16 camera slots here. So you click Browse, you, have, you can see all your drive letters here for the media that you've inserted. I'm gonna start with Drive E and continue on all the way down H. And we've got I, and finally J. As you do this, you'll notice that there's a readout here that tells you how many videos are on each card. And this is helpful because if you accidentally pressed record on one of your cameras at some point and you have an extra erroneous shot there that you didn't mean to have, you can go ahead and look at that card and delete that erroneous file before you do the copy process. The app will also warn you if you accidentally try and copy and you don't have the same amount of files on each card. So now that we have the same number of videos on each card and we've got all six cards loaded and assigned to a camera, we're gonna go ahead and click the start copy button up here and that's gonna automatically start copying files from each camera. Now that we're done, it says it's completed. We can close the app, uh, we can check it out over here. If I click on the project folder, I've got shots arranged and six cams in each shot automatically. And that's basically how it works, it's that simple. So please use it, enjoy it, uh, we hope you do. If you have any feedback, uh, just get in touch with us. You'll see the contact details on our website, and uh, we hope it's helpful to you.